Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our next edition of Together Time Outdoors. I'm sure you can see in the background, we got a little bit of snow over the weekend. In fact, pretty sure we got seven or eight inches in the area. And this video was supposed to be filmed on Saturday, and we're gonna be stocking some trout with the uh, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission today. Uh, Carson was supposed to go with me on Saturday, but the stocking was canceled because of all the snow we got. And my dad was gonna go with me today, but uh, he had a few health issues lately and he's got a therapy session that got switched to right in the time slot that this is taking place. So today, come here, the person who I'm spending some time together with is uh, my dog Chuck. Come here, come here, hey, look at the camera technical difficulties already but uh, I just wanted to film this little intro here Chuck is 14 and a half years old come on and he's been going stalking trout with me since he was not even a year old and uh, it's something we really look forward to doing every year um, he's too old to jump up in the truck now so I have to pick him up and load him up in the truck and uh, I'll get him all loaded up get set up in the truck while we drive to the meeting place and we'll do a little bit more filming on the way so uh, we'll see you in a little bit okay everybody we're on our way to the meeting spot here and uh, chuck knows something's going on he's a little bit antsy in the truck here today uh, we, as I said earlier, stocking with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, we're stocking trout for the upcoming trout season. And, uh, you know, all this information is posted on their website, so it's not a big secret what's going on. So I'm not going to hide any names or try to conceal what we're doing here. We're going, uh, we're between Ford City and Catanning right now, and we're heading out to Worthington. To help them stock Buffalo Creek and uh, it's a stream that we fish sometimes not a whole lot but Buffalo Creek is an extremely popular trout fishing stream in the southwestern part of the state and I mean ridiculously so in my opinion a lot of people call it combat fishing there's so many people fishing out here it's one of those streams but there are a few spots where you can uh, catch a few fish if you put in your time out here so uh, that's where we're going where we're gonna meet and uh, most of the trout stocking that I've done in my life is up in the northern part of the state in the Allegheny National Forest region and uh, when we would stalk up there it's mostly all in the woods and I would let Chuck run free because we knew just about everybody who was up there helping and they all knew Chuck and they would look after him pretty well too but uh, I'm really not sure this is the first time I've helped stock this particular stream and uh, it's gonna be around houses and around some roads and I'm expecting there to be quite a few people out here so I'm gonna kind of play it by ear what's gonna go on and I'm not expecting to be able to let Chuck run a whole lot like he normally does just for his own safety uh, he's not an aggressive dog by any means he's never bitten anybody but he does weigh about 65 pounds so people who are a little bit leery of dogs I've had some people fearful of them when they see him so just uh, I don't want to put him put him or anyone else in a bad position so we'll play it by ear here and uh, a little bit about Chuck I said earlier he's 14 and a half he lives a really good life but uh, it didn't start out so well when he was a puppy he was born on a farm up by Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. And my father-in-law does some work with dairy cattle and he was up on this particular farm doing some work. And there were these eight puppies running around covered with mud, covered with cow manure, just running loose. And uh, the farmer told my father-in-law that he didn't want any of these puppies and wanted to get rid of them. So my father-in-law and my brother-in-law went up and gathered all these dogs, brought them home bathed them, fed them, and uh, really my brother-in-law found homes for all of them, and uh, Chuck was really the runt of the litter. No one really wanted him, and uh, 
Kelly and I took them and I don't think they might not have even been eight weeks old when they were brought home there but uh, we kept him and he has been just the best dog you could ever want to have he is so smart but uh, his mother was full-blooded border collie and we think his father was a uh, black lab German Shepherd mix so he's got some smart breeds all mixed in together there and it really shows and uh, he and I spend a lot of time together we've done a lot of fishing and uh, it's not always the easiest thing to reel in a trout when he's around because he likes to get after him and he's knocked more than one trout off of my line and off of people's lines who were fishing around us and they weren't always real happy about it but uh, we always have a good time so uh, we're gonna go on out the road here and pull in and see what happens and we'll catch up to you in a little bit here around in there not those ones don't quite Chuck can sure see them. Are you chasing them? Those don't quite look as nice as those. Oh, there's a big rainbow. Wow, that's a nice one. Let's see if I can get them. Boy, that was a hard rainbow. Come on, bub. You got him stirred up there. Oh. Is that mud slick? <laughs> There's that big one swimming around. Chasing each other like they're still in the hat. Come on, Bob. Are you gonna get mud all through the truck? <coughs> Buffalo Creek preseason stocking. There were some really big goldens at that last bridge.
Come on, you're gonna see some fish? Come here. Here. <laughs> Nobody better be taking a leak somewhere behind a tree without watching. Take two if you got them. Thank you. Got your hands full. Yeah. Well, we got two buckets of fish here. I think they're supposed to be all browns and rainbows, so we'll see what they look like when we get done here. Dump them out. Yeah, 
it. I was looking for a path, but I don't think there is. I just hope I don't slip in this snow and fall on my rear end with these couple buckets. Yeah. I've done that plenty of times in the past. If I can get right down here. Jeez. I think I picked the wrong way. I can take that now. Okay. Don't have to, both of us climb down here. Go out on this big rock, I guess. Okay, everyone, I want to close out the video here. Obviously, we're at home. I uh, didn't get quite as much footage as I had planned, but it's a little boring just watching carry buckets and dump them in the stream after a while. You uh, kind of get the gist of what was going on today with what I had filmed. And overall, they put some really nice fish in today, all browns, rainbows, golden rainbows. Uh, with the gas being four dollars and thirty cents a gallon the amount of help that was there was probably about what i expected uh usually there's more help on the in seasons simply because you can fish as soon as you throw the fish in and on the pre-seasons you typically don't have quite as much help but uh for as popular a stream as that is i thought there would be more people there than there was today but uh i hope you enjoyed the video got a taste of what we were doing anyone fishing buffalo creek this spring hopefully you catch some of the fish that we were able to put in and uh, I definitely enjoyed getting to spend some time with me and my buddy Chuck. He got some good exercise, ran around, swam in the stream a little bit, came home and got his belly full. And now, uh, as you can see, he's nestled in for the evening here. So uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mike signing off of uh, Together Time Outdoors. Take care.